All right, next up, this is a this is a cool one, Will. This is a cool one coming via Gizmodo. Scientists have created a prosthetic arm that lets patients feel touch again. Unbelievable. I love this kind of story. This is uh this is the science fiction stuff that I used to think about as a kid, like the robotic arm, the idea of because you know they used to put the commercial on TV, which would scare me with the amputees. Mm. We go, don't go near the lawnmower. Right. Uh, the war amps, they're called. I don't yeah, know. War amps. I don't know where that airs, what countries that airs in. But it would be a kid who would tell you, like, look, I got too close to a tractor and I lost my arm or my leg or whatever it might be. And it would be on, they would put it on kids' programming to, to warn you against like heavy machinery, lawnmowers, cars, like, to be to be wary because you could uh, end up injured or whatever. And so I used to watch that commercial and I'd think, man, in the superhero comics, or, or 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 how about in Star Wars? Because Luke Skywalker, he he gets the robotic arm at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's cool. It's a cool thought. Like ah, so what? Got your arm chopped out. Here's a better one. I don't know. It was a science fiction solution. This is one of the areas where I feel like tech, when it can restore for humans, when it can do a restoration product for human or project for humans, it's really inspirational. So uh, scientists at the University of Utah say they've created technology that can return some degree of feeling for people with amputations creating prosthetics capable of providing sensation and funny enough i mentioned luke skywalker i believe they call it luke <laughs> inspired by hmm. his robotic deal the hand itself looks incredible also apparently the way it works is they're able to tap into some of the remaining nerve endings on the remaining part of the arm like where the the biological arm would have originally attached and this new method is a lot more effective, again, according to this article, than, than trying to come from the outside in, stimulating parts of the brain or something like this, and trying to, trying to uh, sort of modify the chain of sensation. Instead, just go tap into the original fibers and, uh, and have it interact in that fashion. So apparently, this individual who, t who got a chance to test it out uh, was, was picking things up, clasping his hands together, Maybe not having the, deg the degree of sensation that he would have originally had, but having the closest he's ever experienced. Can you imagine that feeling, Will? Mm -hmm. Like of, ha of having, not having an arm for years, getting the robotic one, and then like plucking a grape and putting it in your mouth. Oh. Dude! Oh. It'll be incredible. And the fact that looking at this, it, it looks like a hand. It looks it, great. It, it's not like a claw or something or like some sort of uh, other contraption. It actually looks like like a real hand with fingers. And that's exactly what he did. He reached out, putting his two hands together, moving them and rubbing them against one, one another. Kind of like this. Like how you just, you know, you, you take it for granted. You probably don't even realize how often you your hands are together. Uh, he put them against one another, feeling his hand with the prosthetic hand as if it were almost real and feeling perhaps almost whole again for the first time in nearly 15 years. All right? You see this, Will? This is real stuff. For the people who work on this kind of thing, I can't imagine the feeling for them as well. To mm -hmm. see that in action, to know all the engineering you put into it. All the years. All the years that you put into the process to now have a patient and to watch their reaction to have this, you know, you see sometimes those clips go viral of somebody hearing for the first time or mm -hmm. seeing for the first, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mostly hearing, I think. And they start crying right away because it's so overwhelming, the experience. I can imagine a similar experience here, not just for the person who gets to be enabled again with with that with the robotic hand and a feeling but also for the individuals who spent that same amount of time practically and have built on top of one another in order to to deliver a technology like that that could 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 create an experience like that it's uh, it's really amazing it's uh, it's one of those situations in which you know oftentimes we analyze tech will and we're like you know it's the good and the bad it's like it's like smartphones, they're great. But then again, people are addicted and they don't look at each other anymore. It like, could be terrible. You watch Black Mirror, you're like, could be bad. Mm -hmm. Then you see something like this and you're like, you know what? I don't see the downside. I don't know, man. They could put oh, they could man. Put here AI he goes. in Will, here. Here goes Will. Here he goes. Now it's going to... Yeah, now it's AI and it's super strength and it's, oh, yeah. it's crushing Will's larynx in the superhero yep. comic book. Punching me right in the nose. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can go that direction. But at least for the time being... 
This is an incredible discovery, incredible right. engineering come together to actually make a difference for somebody in, in real life and to deliver touch back. That's it. Just, I don't know. That stuff to me is super cool. So shout out to the research team, the scientists at the University of Utah. You're doing the real stuff. That's some real stuff going on right there. And I like mm -hmm. it.